Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna tell you a very wholesome story. In fact, it's one of my favorite. It's called the Given Tree. In Korean, it's called Akim Opshi Chunen Namu by Shel Silverstein. Long, long time ago, there was a tree, and the tree loves a little boy. The boy would visit the tree without missing a single day, and play around by picking up the fallen leaves one after another. Just like this, he even used the tree leaves to make a crown and play around as the forest prince. The boy would climb up the trunk. Hang on the branches to swing around, and pluck and eat apples. They even play hide and seek together. After playing just like that, the boy would get tired and fall asleep under the tree's shade. The boy loved the tree very much. Because of that, the tree was happy. Just like this, the time went by, and the boy slowly grew up. And the tree spent most of her time alone. One day, when the boy visited the tree. The tree said, "Hey, little boy, let's ride the swing, pluck apples, and play happily under the shade, just like the good old days." The boy replied, "I have grown up a lot to climb and play on the tree. I want to buy something and have fun. Would be great if I have money too. Can you give me some money?" "I'm so sorry, I don't have money." I only have the leaves and apples. Little boy, take my apples and sell them to have some money. You will be happy then," replied the tree. The boy climbed the tree, plucked all the apples, and left his way. So the tree was happy. However, the boy didn't come back for a long time. So the tree was sad. One day, the boy came back. The tree shook a body, beaming with happiness. "Hey, little boy, come climb up my trunk. Let's play and swing on my branches." "I am not that free to climb up the tree and play," the boy replied. "I wish I have a warm house. I need the house to have a wife and kids. Can you get a house for me?" "I don't have a house," the tree replied. This forest is my house. Cut away my branches and build the house. You will be happy then. The boy cut all the tree branches and left to build his own house. So the tree was happy. Time passed again, and the boy didn't come back for a long time. When the boy came back one day, the tree couldn't express her happiness in words that she whispers. "Come, boy, let's play together. I am too old and sad now that I can't play anymore." The boy replied. It would be nice if there is a boat that can take me far away from here. Can you find a boat for me? Cut my body and build a boat, boy," the tree replied. "In this way, you can go far away and will be happy then." So the boy cut the tree's body, built a boat, and left far away. So the tree was happy. Well, not really.
Time passes really long, and the boy came back again. The tree uttered, "Little boy, I am so sorry. I don't have anything more to give you. I don't have apple. My teeth are too weak to eat apple now." The boy replied. I don't have branches, so you can't ride swings too. I am too old to hold and ride the branches. The boy said. I don't have a body, so you can't climb too. I don't have energy to climb now. The boy said. The tree sighed and said, "I am sorry. I wish I could give you at least something. I don't really have anything. That's why. I am just an old tree stump." I am sorry. The boy said, "Tree, I don't really need anything right now. I just wish I have a place where I can sit quietly. I am really tired." Oh, really? The tree used all its strength to set herself upright and said, "An old stem is the best for sitting and resting. Come, sit, sit, and have some rest." The boy did as he was told. So the tree was very happy, and that's the end of the story. We all have some bits of the giving tree inside us, so don't hesitate to spread your infectious love and kindness to your family, friends, and even to strangers. It might not be these same people, but there is definitely going to be your own giving tree waiting for you. I wish you another happy day with your loved ones. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.